let's take a look at how an innovative company called CGU is fundamentally redefining the insurance industry. I really believe success for CGU is about building strong partnerships and exceptional service. And that's challenging to do in a rapidly changing world. I think you can easily be left behind. And I think we absolutely have to be contemporary, always looking for growth and the next opportunity. It's an organisation that is steeped in history. We've been around for 160 years. We've been serving the same communities across Australia in ensuring assets and protecting risk. And as we've evolved from you know, paper quotes, the relationships we have with our people and the way we interact with them have also evolved. We need to make sure from an insurance perspective we can provide products and services that match the trends and the environment that we're in. Use of cloud, use of technology, platforms such as Salesforce really complement the relationships we've developed over the years. It gives us that ability to move from a very bespoke, old-fashioned insurance company into the modern era. It's about taking a view of our channel, and our channel is through intermediaries and partners, whether it's in claims, underwriting or sales. It's about bringing all the different components together and providing a seamless service into the market. We've got some great opportunities to utilise mobile technology. When the BDMs, for example, are out on the road uh, looking at risks, pictures can be taken and uploaded and a risk assessment can be done then and there. A, a transaction can be turned around really quickly, much more effectively, much more efficiently and much more accurately. You know, the fundamentals haven't really changed. This, this organisation and the, the market that we work in uh, thrives on relationship and thrives on connectivity. The wonderful thing we have now is it's a richer connectivity. And all of a sudden you have a platform and a technical capability that allows you to reach into the market in ways that you previously couldn't before. And that drives innovative thinking in our organisation. Service Cloud to us initially was a platform to be able to enable a sales conversation to become more professional and more focused in the marketplace. But quite quickly, we've realised that it's become a much bigger and fundamental change than just sales related activity. It's actually enabling the flow of information through our organisation and out to our partners and intermediaries. Whether it's via tablets or smartphones or what have you is extremely important. Well, a huge part of the discussion in the company has moved away from the meeting room and it's moved online. It's moved to uh, collaboration tools, it's moved to chatter. You get a sense as to what people are talking about, what's trending if you like, what are topics of the day, how people feel about things, more information at their fingertips to review and read and collate. And we're able to monitor uh, in a very structured way how those conversations are evolving using platforms like the marketing cloud. I think the old days of having the, the big IT department and then you had the business. What we're already seeing and, and Salesforce as part of that is more of a blended team. Both in the way that we continue to interact with them through traditional channels but plus this new complementary discussion that happens through the new channels and the contemporary way now that we take our information into the market. The more we become contemporary and leverage the technology at our disposal, the brighter the future looks. And I think we've started that journey, so I'm, I'm really positive as to where we're heading. So CGU is transforming the insurance industry in terms of how it connects thousands of brokers and agents across the country. Let's take a look at how they're using this technology. I want to now invite Dan Bogner, who's a Vice President of Sales Engineering. Dan, take it away. As you saw from the video a couple of moments ago, CGU is one of Australia's leading insurers. They're responsible for the sale of both personal insurance and business insurance in the Australian marketplace. One of the subtleties, though, of their business model is that they distribute their products through a network of brokers and advisors. And what we're about to take you through this morning is a future vision for CGU, enabled by Salesforce, of what the world could look like for CGU as they go through this transformation, as they engage and connect with those brokers and advisors to deliver an exceptional customer experience. To help me with the demonstration today, let me start off by introducing you to one of the brokers by the name of Lauren Boyle. Lauren is an independent broker. She works out of Sydney, and she has vast experience working selling construction and commercial insurance. 
Now, what Lauren gets access to, which is provided to her by CGU, is a community site. You can see that on the screen behind me. The community site is Lauren's single point of access to be able to engage with CGU's customers and to importantly engage with a network of business development managers and underwriters from CGU. On that community site, Lauren has direct access to the major opportunities she's working on for CGU customers. On the left-hand side of the screen, she can see the business plan that she's agreed to with CGU and the monthly attainment of those sales goals. Right in the middle of the screen, you can see the embedding of Salesforce Chatter as Lauren starts conversations with CGU as well as other brokers and advisors. And on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see that we've got access to what are the recent claims, what are the recent news articles, as well as a poll that CGU is undertaking with our community of brokers and advisors. Now, whilst Lauren is in the office and she's looking at this community site, Lauren receives a call from a customer by the name of Adam Arnold. Adam is a very loyal customer of CGU, and so what Lauren's going to do at this point is search for Adam's contact record within the community site. Now, what's really interesting about this is that the profile view that she gets taken to within the CGU community site is very specific about the extent of the relationship that this customer has with CGU, as well as with Lauren the broker. At a glance at the very top of the screen, Lauren immediately knows that Adam is a customer for business insurance as well as personal insurance. Highlighted in green are the individual assets that Adam has insured with CGU. Lauren also has access to Adam's claim rating, his current policy status, as well as a loyalty indicator, indicating that this is an incredibly loyal customer. And underneath that, if we scroll down for a moment, you can see that Adam's business is a mashup on Google Maps of the current location of his business. Now, what Adam proceeds to tell Lauren is actually, look, I've just bought a new commercial warehousing space in Alexandria in Sydney, and as a result of that, Lauren, I'm interested in understanding the insurance implications. And what Lauren does is quickly glance at this profile and says to Adam, look, I'd like to come and talk to you about this in a bit more detail, but based on what I know of you, my suggestion is you're going to need to upgrade the existing policy you have to a commercial pack insurance policy. So what Lauren does at this point is she creates an opportunity to work on with Adam. She clicks on the opportunity button, you'll see that all of that information we know of Adam is automatically captured in the opportunity form. We add a couple of extra details and we hit save. Once we've done that, that opportunity net is now visible to CGU, so they can get involved in the discussion with Adam, and now Lauren can track that within her community site. So let's now fast forward our story by a couple of days and see what she does um, as part of that survey process. So imagine now Lauren is in the taxi, she's on the way to meet Adam, and she's got her iPad with her. But she wants to remind herself of who Adam is, and she wants to be able to familiarize herself with the meeting she's just about to go into. Let's go ahead and search for Adam Arnold's contact record on the iPad. You can see here all the same customer profiling information we saw earlier on the community site, now available to Lauren on her iPad. Let's go and drill in on the opportunity. We can see that upgrade to commercial pack insurance opportunity we talked about earlier. Let's drill in on that, and we'll, we'll start our conversation now with Adam. Now, what's really exciting about this is as we sit down with Adam and start discussing his needs, Lauren now has access to all of that marketing collateral that we need to have an enriched discussion with Adam. Lauren now has access to product disclosure statements. She has the latest marketing brochures and collateral. And she can sit down with Adam using her iPad and take Adam through all of that content. Now, what's really also exciting about this is in the background, Salesforce is, is making a record of each piece of content that's shown to Adam. Why is that valuable? Because it now means that CGU's brand development managers or business development managers now have a record of what pieces of content are shown to which customers. Incredibly valuable to them. So let's now go ahead in our conversation with Adam. The next stage which we're going to do is we're actually going to conduct what we call a site survey. We're doing this because what CGU wants to understand is what's the, the, uh, the quality and the location of the building we're about to insure. So Lauren's going to go ahead and conduct that survey straight from her iPhone, sorry, iPad. To do that, we've got a custom mobile application that we've built on our Salesforce platform. 
On the left-hand side of the screen, you can see that we've actually incorporated here all of the existing information we already know of Adam. And all of that is incorporated as part of the survey process. We can also leverage the geolocation capability on the iPad to zero in on this warehousing space in Alexandria. And now that we've done that, we simply attach that to the record. Let's go ahead now and select Next, and we'll move to the next stage of the process. Now, the survey is now going to ask us for information about the age of the building, the quality of the building, and so forth. And we're going to go through and, using some, um, some drop-downs, just enter that information. But what's really interesting about this is because we've got an iPad in front of us, we can take photos and we can take video of that building. And once it's on our iPad, we can upload that directly into the survey itself. Now, this is an incredibly um, valuable proposition for CGU and their customers because it means that now CGU has access to this information and their level of responsiveness increases significantly as they go ahead and quote on this policy. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and press on Submit to CGU. What, what's going to happen at this point is CGU is going to receive all that information, go ahead and quote on the policy, and issue the policy to the customer. Now, let's fast forward our story now again a couple of days, and Lauren's back in her office. When she's in her office, she's going to log back into that community site that you saw us take you through earlier. What's really interesting about this, if you zero in on the chatter feed in the middle of the screen, is a couple of things have happened. The first thing is that Lauren's automatically received a notification from CGU that that policy has been quoted on and is now ready for a signature. The other thing at the very top of that chatter feed is that as a result of closing that policy with Adam Arnold, Lauren has now met her monthly sales target based on the business plan that she agreed to with CGU. And CGU reaches out to Lauren and says, congratulations on meeting your monthly target. Great job. Let's drill in on that in a bit more detail by clicking on the sales pipeline tab. And what we'll get taken to now is a dashboard where Lauren manages her entire book of business with CGU. Running from left to right at the top of the screen, Lauren has access to her monthly attainment of sales targets, how much business has she written with CGU on a year-to-date basis. And on the right-hand side of the screen, she also sees what's her sales pipeline that's segmented by the sales stages that CGU track themselves. All very valuable to help her manage that book of business and manage the business plan she has with CGU. Underneath that, if we zero down, we also see all of the opportunities that Lauren is managing. Each opportunity is reconciled for her so she can see at a glance what's the lead source for each opportunity. What's the value of each opportunity? What's the rating that we've assigned to each opportunity based on a quality indicator, based on the level of qualification, or a priority? And on the right-hand side, what's the status? Each of these opportunities are made visible, not just to Lauren, but also CGU. So you can see here in the last few minutes how CGU is on a transformation. That future vision will enable CGU to be able to get closer with their brokers and advisors, in turn, deliver a highly differentiated customer experience, and as a result of that, increase their policies and their level of um, service they provide to their customers. Thank you. Back to you, Vivek. So what you're seeing is a transformation of an insurance company. And historically, the insurance industry is known to manage risk, not necessarily to innovate. Uh, but today, I am honored uh, to have with us a special guest, Peter Harmer, who is the CEO of CGU. Talk to us a little bit about uh, how you're able to, under your leadership, focus on driving innovation and uh, creating a new model when it comes to an industry that, frankly, hasn't been known to innovate. Well, um, Vivek, the insurance industry, as I think most people would know, is over 300 years. Um, and our part of the industry has always been described as a people business, um, one that's relied very heavily on relationships to direct business flow. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, we've been in this country for 160 years. One of our relationships stretches back 125 years and we have others in excess of 100 years. I think what that has meant for the industry is historically it's not had a sales culture. Um, we've expected that the right relationships will bring the business in the, in the front door. Um, but I think probably exacerbated by the fact that about 85% of policies renew every year, so you've only got to resell a relatively small part of your, your book. So we decided at CGU that we would do something very different. We wanted to take control of, uh, of our own growth. We wanted to exceed uh, system growth by a considerable margin. 
Um, to do so, of course, with no existing sales culture, we needed to think about what our sales engine should look like. So clearly that comprised uh, a number of training modules around sales and account management, as well as the processes to support sales it, itself. Um, and then, of course, uh, technology as an enabler was a, was a key decision for us, and of course that's where Salesforce plays such a, a tremendous role for us. So we, uh, we now, uh, through, through Salesforce, have an ability to take the knowledge that we have about our business partners' books of business and map that to where uh, we want to grow ourselves so that uh, we have a, a very clear understanding of the specific opportunities that are arising throughout the course of the year with each of our partners and we're able to deploy resource and capability to the right opportunity at the right time. It's meant that our salespeople, our business development managers, uh, have conversations now with our partners that are, are content rich um, and uh, very, very focused on, on driving not just the right sales outcomes, but the right service outcomes as well. Uh, through the pipeline that we're, we've now been able to establish, we've got a good forward view of our revenue, which of course helps us in terms of thinking about our investment profile. Um, our salespeople are connected to our underwriters. Our underwriters are the people who, uh, back in the office, they actually design and price the product. So we have an ability to, to make, remain relevant to the changing needs of our, our customers. We've been uh, so very pleased with the progress to date that we've now decided to bring our operations and claims people onto Salesforce so that we can, in fact, uh, better integrate the overall sales and service delivery. And when you look at these uh, mega trends around social, mobile, big data, communities, um, how are you actually implementing um, you know, technologies that are going to help you create the future rather than just react to it? We have, we have an excellent team, and I was uh, really taken with the comments that, uh, um, from Lorna Jane. I think it's very much about connecting and very much about listening. So we have a, a wonderful team that stay very, very close to our customers. Um, we have a very, uh, I think, creative mindset. We're prepared to trial new technologies, new ways of thinking. We engage our customers and our partners in the process um, just to make sure that uh, we are delivering the experiences that uh, you know, they've come to expect from us. And uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, the changes that you had to go through as an organization, uh, especially when you're dealing with thousands um, of brokers and agents across the board, and you're fundamentally changing the way you do business. Well, I think at CG we're very, very fortunate. We have uh, a wonderfully resilient culture. We have a team who I think are really inspired by a sense of opportunity. Um, in, in this world, of course, change is not driven by the fear of um, oblivion. It's driven by you know, the sort of opportunities that we have, the, the experiences that we can create for our customers, the experiences that we can create for our people as well. So the, the cultural change has been um, you know, a, a very interesting and long journey, but I'd have to say it hasn't been a painful one at all. Great. Well, thank you very much, and thanks for being here. Thanks. Thanks.